Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Excel video 283. I'm Nate Moore. I'm helping a group put their accounts receivable data in a pivot table. What they have now is a printed report that goes on for hundreds of pages in an online or a software based tool that they're not quite sure does everything they want it to do and it kind of does patient or insurance receivables, maybe not so much patient. What we're doing is putting all that data into one pivot table and make it a lot easier to understand and manage. If you need that help with your accounts receivable, I'd love to help you. We're going to keep talking about sorting today, and to do that, I'm going to move referring physician out of the way and put doctor in our list. And just to make our lives a little bit cleaner, we'll move diagnosis. So we just are dealing with these physicians. And as we did last time, we can sort A to Z and Z to A. That's easy, but let's assume Dr. Sleeping Queens. The reason it's so low is because she was our founding physician. She's about done. She's just collecting a little bit more, but because she's the founding physician, every report we've ever run for our practice put her on top. Let me show you how to manually sort the data so she can go to the top of the list when we sort. What you can do is right-click any of these labels in the row label area, and what we're going to do is from the sort menu, we're going to choose more sort options. From there, we're going to do manual sort. Instead of ascending or descending, we're going to do manual sort, and Excel's halfway helpful there. You can drag items to rearrange them. That's exactly what we're going to do. So when we click OK, what we're going to do, watch my cursor is now this plus. Watch for it to change to the four-way arrow. When it does, now I'm dragging Sleeping Queens there, and now Sleeping Queens goes to the top. And I can manually sort the list instead of relying on A to Z or Z to A. If you've got locations, you want to put the first location, then the second location, in a kind of a chronological order of how they were opened, or you've got physicians like that where the founding physician's always on top and we do it by seniority. Or you've got something geographically where it's always in the same order. All you need to do is right click, sort, more sort options, and turn on manual sort. Once it's on, then you're good to go and you can move by simply waiting for the cursor to change and drag things wherever you want to go. That's what I wanted to show you about manual sort today. We're through A to Z sort and Z to A and manual sorting. We've talked about pivoting, now we've talked about sorting. Next time we're going to start a discussion of filtering. Look forward to seeing you then.